It's been six months since the tragic nighttime collapse of the Champlain Tower South Building in Surfside, Florida, killing 98 people. Almost all of them buried by the rubble while they slept. The building has literally pancaked. It has gone down, and I mean, there's, there's just feet in between stories where there were 10 feet. It took weeks to recover the bodies of all the missing Surfside residents. During those days, families, neighbors, and people around the world hoped for a miracle. It did not happen. Theories abound, but still no official causes for why the structure came tumbling down on June 24th at 1.23 a.m. Renowned structural engineer Alan Kilsheimer was hired by the city of Surfside to investigate, but his access to the site and the debris has been limited. Anything you can tell us right now about why you think this building collapsed? When we feel comfortable with understanding what happened, then we'll share it with people. We're not anywhere near that at this point in time. That's the best answer I can give people. Other experts who reviewed publicly available evidence told the Miami Herald that it's likely the collapse began at the pool deck area before the rest of the building came tumbling down. Extensive corrosion has been revealed. The federal government is still investigating. During these months, it also came to light that fire alarms didn't go off when the pool deck failed. That happened seven minutes before the total collapse, meaning residents could have had seven minutes to wake up and potentially escape. Dozens of lawsuits related to the collapse have been filed in court, including one that alleges the construction of the building next door contributed to the tower's failure. The Champlain Towers were going through a 40-year recertification process. The tragedy also triggered a wave of building inspections in Miami-Dade County. Some structures were even evacuated, prompting anger from some residents. As for the Surfside community. I think the community is still feeling uh, the effects of the collapse. Um, it, it was an event that united us, uh, all the community. So we are still thinking and praying for the families affected by, by the collapse. I'm disappointed in a way because I feel that they should have had the building better inspected for, these, for this kind of problem. And I, I feel sad for the people that were hurt by it. And it's a little bit frightening to think that maybe my building can collapse because I live, also live in a condo. The site is now cleared of all debris. The judge approved the sale of the land, dismissing the possibility of converting the property to a memorial site. Proceeds of the sale will go to the victims and their families. Nitsa Soledad Perez, CGTN, Miami.